Uh, so I asked you to read a, a, a chapter by Keys, and you know, it's from like 2004, a little bit, I think it's dated, but I, I do think that, you know, I like some of these things as tools to get us to like think about, um, you know, things. So like in the last unit, we looked at McLeod's uh, semantic dimensions for talking about authenticity. Is it totally right? Is it dated? Um, but, you know, it's a framework, it's a tool, right? And so Keyes is, you know, um, basically, he puts FEMCs into these four, four, what, you know, are fluid categories, which means like, uh, you know, an M, you know, FEMC could go from one to the other, be in between, or one day one, or and the other, you know, it's a very fluid identity-wise. These categories are these archetypes um, that they that they sort of fall into to get into the rap industry. Now, this is dated for so, so many reasons. A, a lot of the um, artists that that is talk that are talked about here, um, also because like uh, you know the industry has changed. Like record labels are kind of like not as needed, and so um, artists can kind of create their own identities and stuff. But they're still on record labels. Like Saw Rock is on. Um, uh, rhyme sayers, you know, um, I can't remember what label Rhapsody's on. Oh my gosh, it's gonna bother me to fuck, but you know, whatever. So here's the four the four categories pr primarily, and then and then there's some other categories. So number one, queen queen mother, and we'll kind of get into these. And again, not perfect, but this is just some tools, some frameworks for us to to start talking about this. And the thing I like about you know this type of stuff when someone theorizes or you know makes these categories. You know, this stuff's always up for contestation, right? Like you can always challenge these and you provide other examples and that's how you come up with, your, with new theories and new ideas is you take something that someone did a year ago or 20 years ago and you put it to the test and you find that it's not true and then you come up with new categories. So like if y'all use this um, in like a presentation or something like that, you could say like this is total bullshit you know, this don't apply now, or here's an example where it doesn't, it doesn't apply, or, or whatever, and that's totally valid, and, and the whole point of, of theory is, you know, it's good until it's proven wrong, and, and, you know, and even then it may not be wrong, but it may be wrong in that context. So, queen mother, fly girl, sister with attitude, uses lesbian, um, I refer to it as, as queer, I think, you know, is a, is a better way to kind of think about it, but he's, you know, the context in which he's thinking about was primarily, um, you know, a lesbian perspective, which is, is also very rare. Um, and then he has some other, like, side categories, Queen Bee, the Bee, bee Go Prankster, and, uh, and could be anything else, you know? So, I mean, that's kind of up to y'all. Like, you know, you can think of, like, where does Megan the Stallion fit in? You know, where does Rhapsody fit in? Um, and I can suggest where I think they fit in, and, but you could look at an example of a music video or a song, where that's totally challenged, or they establish a complete new category. Okay, and I think that's a real important thing uh, for y'all to think about.